Welcome at Optics Trade Debates. My name is Gaber. My name is Theodor. Hello. And today we're going to address a fairly uncommon question. Uh, many of you wonder about the uh, zeroing and click values on aimpoint red dot sites. So hmm. maybe to start off, to boil it down to the basics, you can, Theodor, tell us a little bit about uh, what does the click value actually mean? So the click value means how much will the, will the bullet impact move when you apply one click on a dot. Hmm. So when it says here, move into this direction to move up, when you apply one click, how much will the bullet impact move? And now today we are going to talk about 9000 SC series. Yep. So we have a 9000 SC night vision compatible and 9000 SC normal model. Yep. Uh, and these two models uh, are basically very special because there is a third model in 9000 series and this is 9000 L, L yeah. the longer model. The SC means that they're short, the L is a bit longer, mm -hmm. but they have different click, click values. values. Yeah. While the night vision compatible and normal standard model has the same click value since here you only get some additional intensity levels mm -hmm. which help you with the use when you're using night vision goggles uh, in combination with the red dot sight. So uh, the click value here on the SC is uh, 8 millimeters uh, per 50 meters, so 16 millimeters per 100 meters. Okay. So it's quite, quite uncommon. uncommon yeah. Yeah, like with majority of endpoints, <clears throat> this is the reason why we receive questions regarding click values mm -hmm. and how to zero endpoints, because almost every series of endpoints have different click values, and in 9000 series, even different models have different click values. Yeah, endpoints so actually really realized it uh, quite late, I think, so yeah. they made those targets. So you can find this on our website, on their website as well. So maybe you can explain a bit uh, for the average user, how can they use the target to help? For zeroing? Yeah. So because they have so uncommon click values, even <coughs> though lately the newest endpoints have more uniform click values, like one centimeter per hundred meters or two centimeters per hundred meters. So they are aware of this issue that some people are confused regarding click values. Mm -hmm. But even though they made these zeroing targets for all of their uh, red dots, where one square on them is uh, matched with the click value. So this target for 9000 SC models means that uh, one eight millimeter square equals one click at 50 meters, which is written here. So it also equals two clicks on 25 meters and two squares equal one click on 100 meters. So two of these squares combined are uh, 16 millimeters, so that's one click. And with this, it's a little bit easier because when you shoot on this target where the bullet lands somewhere, you just count the, the squares and you know at which distance you are zeroing and then you know how many clicks you need to apply. Okay. So out in the field with my 9000 series, um, what tools do I need? So the easiest way is if you have your standard aimpoint tool, yeah. even though it's not included with 9000 series, so you need to buy it as a spare part. Hmm. Uh, it's really easy to open the, the caps on the turrets with this tool. Uh, the caps are really nice because they are uh, connected, attached, attached to, the, to the turrets. And then normally you're able to use the tool to do the zeroing. On 9000 series, the clicks are still audible and tactile, but on newer models, they're a little bit better, I would say, mm -hmm. here, even though they're not really bad here. You can also use coins because, like I said, uh, this standard tool is not supplied by default with these uh, dots. And because we are in the Eurozone, I will talk about Euros. So basically all the way up to 10 cents of a Euro, you're able to use the coins for uh, yeah. applying the clicks. So anything larger will not work. Won't fit in the gap. So 20 cents, 50 cents, 1 euro, 2 euros, it will not work. It will work 10 cents, 5 cents, 2 cents, and 1 cent, those will work. Those will work. And the turrets are counterclockwise. So I would say the Americans are more used to counterclockwise yeah. uh, Here in Europe, turrets. not so much. No, in Europe, you usually we, we use mostly <coughs> clockwise turrets. Mm. So it's quite counterintuitive, maybe. Yeah. For um, okay, so uh, maybe a little bit about uh, vintage and elevation. So for all dots of this type from endpoint, so 9000 series, you know, it's almost identical to comp M3, comp uh, C3, uh, the pro, uh, so the uh, patrol rifle optics and so on. 
they um, they all have elevation range of at least uh, two meters plus and minus mm -hmm. at 100 meters for elevation and windage. That means a four by four meters square. Okay. Really, really a lot. Yeah, that's quite a lot uh, for a This is 40 side. mils of elevation, 40 mils of windage. And usually because these dots are not used on long range, it's, it's plenty. Yeah, it's overkill. You don't need yeah. this amount of uh, adjustment range. But also it's not bad, honestly speaking. Better to have it and not need it than the other way, other way around. You have one installed on your own rifle, if I'm not yeah, mistaken. Yeah, one of this. Uh, some people still prefer the 9000 series because the first Wild Boar series of videos were made with them and they prefer the design. They mm -hmm. say if you go to hunt in Africa... This is um, still the OG. This is the go-to dot. Yeah. Even though I also use the Hunter H34 on one of my other rifles, I like it even more. Uh, but it is true that in design-wise, they say for a true safari rifle for Africa, this is the dot to go, probably because it was influenced by so many videos from the past, from Wild Boar Fever and similar videos okay. uh, regarding hunting with aimpoints. So um, design-wise and quality-wise, not many issues with aimpoints, no. if any. Almost uh, none. It's like we sell them for 10 years and it's I, really hard to remember that yeah. any aimpoint would ever fail. Okay. Uh, how about rega in regards to uh, zeroing in or click values? Any troubles that users might expect? or experience? I would say, okay, the first issue that can happen because the elevation and, uh, and windage range, adjustment range is so huge, it can happen that you mount your dot on a rifle, you go on 100 meters, you're, you're not in the target because mm -hmm. the dot is set somewhere else. <coughs> so move closer, go 10 meters, your target put a shot in the target and then you know where you are and then do the first I would say rough zeroing at 10 meters and then go to 25 meters and all mm. the way to 100 so this is I would say it's not a common issue but happens sometimes and it's not a product fault um, the second thing is uh, if you don't have any coins with you and you don't have any not the standard tool it can be a little bit tricky, tricky to do the zeroing just with a fingernail it does work but it's not not it's, so nice. Yeah, okay. Uh, so have a five cent or ten cent coin with you, and it's going to be much, much easier to, to apply all the clicks. There are basically no other issue. Uh, I would give a piece, of, a piece of advice. If you're doing zeroing on 100 meters, put the intensity level as low as, as possible. Low as possible. Okay. And sometimes it also helps if you close one eyes, even though these dots are made for two, two eyes, open. both eyes open shooting. Some people do the zeroing easier if they close one eye and do it on 100 meters. Myself personally, I use both eyes open uh, because I like to have this same feeling all the time with aim points. There is, I think we covered yeah. almost all the questions. Yeah, I agree. I think this advice would help many of you, I'm mm -hmm. sure. So if you have any additional questions, feel free to leave a comment below, send us an email uh, or call us. We're happy to help. Get in touch and we will help if you have any, sure. any issues. Okay. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.